What's up YouTube? It's Andrew or Premium Designs HD and today I'm coming at you guys with another Photoshop tutorial. Now today in Photoshop we will be making some really nice text as you guys see on the screen right now. And basically how we're going to be making this is we're just going to add a simple text file and then expanding two parts of it, adding a texture on the second part of it as you guys see on the backdrop of this and then adding a nice glossy effect to almost make it look like it's lighting in Photoshop. Now this is solely done in Photoshop so no Cinema 4D, no After Effects. So if you guys just have Photoshop this will work perfect for you guys. Now this is a a really simple effect that doesn't take very long but it's a really strong and impacting effect on your guys' text. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. So today I'm going to be using a simple white canvas by 1366 by 768 which is just my screen resolution and then I'm going to just go to my typing tool, select anywhere on the canvas. Um, I'm going to be using the font slant so if you guys want to go download it, go ahead. And then I'm going to name the text just tutorial and then just click on your guys' selection tool, hold down control, click on background while these two files are selected. These two, uh, these six buttons will appear. Click on the second button and the fifth button and that will make it directly in the middle of your guys' canvas so we know what we're working with. And then double click on tutorial to open up your guys' blending options but you guys can also right click on it and go to blending options as well. And then go to gradient overlay and it will be stock as black on bottom, white on top and we're just going to single click on this color panel right here. And then double click on your guys' far left uh, color. And I'm going to make mine a bit of a darker blue. If you guys, uh, you guys can use green. Um, red looks pretty nice. Anything you guys want, you guys can really use. I'm just going to be using blue for this tutorial. And then my white, I'm going to be using a little bit of a lighter blue. So right about there, I might darken up the darker blue just a tad bit. Maybe right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Press OK. And then is what we're going to do is we're going to select on outer glow, make our blend mode right here normal, select on the color as black. And then for your size, just mess around with it. Um, I find 10 to look really nice and 12 to look really nice. So I'm just going to be using 10 for this one and click on drop shadow. And then the spread, we're going to set that at about 20 and then the size to be at about 30. And then click OK. And now we have some uh, our basic text right here in the middle. I'm going to hide our effects right now so it's not all clumped up together. And then we're going to make a new layer and we're going to have that layer under tutorial. And I'm going to keep myself organized and name it call I'm going to call it first backdrop. And then is what we're going to do is we're going to hold down control and click on the left picture right next to tutorial, that little text picture and we're going to press on it and that will select our text. And then is what you guys can do is go up to select, modify, and then expand. And we're going to expand this by about 10 pixels. So then press OK and that will expand it a little bit. Now select on your guys' first backdrop, go to your guys' paint bucket and just paint it black. And then hold down Control D and that will deselect it. And now we have a basic backdrop. Um, a black backdrop to our tutorial and we're going to just modify this a little bit so we'll go to, back to you guys' blending options on that and go to gradient overlay and we're going to make this about um, a charcoal gray for our left color and then we're going to have a lighter gray for our top color uh, to change it off our white and then go to outer glow and change our blend mode to normal and then change your guys' size to 10 just like we did on the first text and make the color black. And go to drop shadow and make it the same thing. So spread to 20, size to 30, press OK. And now we have this which looks really nice now and just hide the effects on that one again. And then is what we can do is we want to add just a second backdrop. So make a new layer, put it under first backdrop. I'm going to call it obviously second backdrop. And then is what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing we did before. So hold down control, click on the left picture of the first backdrop. That will select our outer layer. Then go to select, modify, expand, and make it about 20 pixels. And then just press OK. And then select on our second backdrop. Hold down your paint bucket and make that black again. Hold down control D. That will deselect it. 
And then is what we want to do is we want to add a texture to that background. So it's what we want to do is if you guys don't have textures, obviously just type in Google. Uh, I'm going to be using a stainless steel texture. So if you guys want to use that same texture as well, just type in stainless steel texture. And that will give you guys some stainless steel textures that you guys can pick from. Just drag them into Photoshop and drop them. So now is what we want to do is we want to just look, uh, size this up a little bit right about... Um, right about there and this is what we want to do is we want to make sure our texture is in between the first and second backdrop so make sure that the, your texture is right there and then is what we want to do is we want to hold down alt and as you guys see if I hover my uh, cursor in between stainless steel and second backdrop this little arrow will appear just click on that and now we have a stainless steel background now to uh, add a nice little effect. We want to change this stainless steel texture to a little bit of a bluish so it'll match our text. So, so what we want to do is we want to select on back second backdrop, go to blending options, go to gradient overlay. And for the colors is what we're going to want to do is, whoa, don't know what just happened. Basically is what we're going to want to do is make our left color a little bit of a darker blue right about there. And then make our white color, and then we're just going to select a little bit of a different darker blue. So right about there. And then just press OK. Now as you guys see, if I zoom in on this, the texture is gone. So it's what, what we want to do is we want to go back to blending options on that second backdrop. Go to gradient overlay and make your blend mode overlay right here. And now our texture is back. And we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. So go to outer glow, go to normal, make the color black. Make the size 10. And go to drop shadow, make our spread 20. And our size 30. And press OK. And there we go. Now we have our nice text. And we're going to click on our tutorial again. Go to blending options. Go to Bevel and Emboss, and now, as you guys see, that gives us a nice glossy texture. But is what we want to do is we want to make sure that the light looks like it's coming from one angle and not all over the place. So is what we want is what we want to do is we want to go to our gloss count tour and click on this uh, button right here. It's it's the one that looks like almost like a hill and then a bigger hill, but then it cuts off. Just click on that, that will make it go to the bottom. And then we want to go to the black color, and we're going to change the black color opacity down to zero and then make the white color a bit of a um, wh whatever color you used and then just click a really light color of it so if you use blue use a very light blue like I am right here if you guys use red use obviously a really really light red and just press OK and there we are guys there's our simple text that gives a really strong impact to my ability that I think um, looks very nice. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you guys out, please guys leave a comment in the comment sections below and give me a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like it, please tell me why you guys didn't like it and thank you guys for the feedback. If you guys have any requests for tutorials also, please message me at Premium Designs HD obviously and just tell me what you guys want me to make and I will show you guys how to make it. So guys, until next time, it's Prim Designs HD where we make quality GFX for free and we make your visions a reality.